What's good everybody? Chris here again. Chris goes outdoors. We're here today. We are uh, back at the Davis Path. So last time we were up here, did Mount Crawford. And today, back again. So we're going to walk right by Mount Crawford here with AJ who's filling water in the back. Uh, and we are heading to Mount Resolution. See where the day takes us. Planning an overnight. Got a, uh, a new tent to test out. So we'll, uh, we'll see. See where the day takes us. Enjoy. So we're working our way up the Davis Path, and uh, it's beautiful, very, very well taken care of trail. All sorts of uh, of good trail work, a lot of stair action going on, but pretty much a gradual moderate elevation gain until you hit the intersection of Mount Crawford. So I'm just gonna keep keep on going. So we made it to the first little Outlook ledgy spot up here. You may remember this from my Mount Crawford videos. But beautiful little area and viewpoint up here. So we'll give you a look. Gonna continue up, um, maybe another point three-ish to the intersection where you can go up to Mount Crawford uh, or keep going down the Davis path. So probably keep going, try to get to Mount Resolution first, then maybe do uh, Crawford again on the way back. See how it goes. But. Take a look at the view. So we made it to the intersection of Mount Crawford and the uh, Davis Path right here. So we're heading this way, another two miles anyway, to Mount Resolution. So we get uh, keep going down the Davis Path. Maybe we'll check out Mount Crawford again on the way back. So beautiful view up there, but I've already been up there. So got to get to Resolution, hopefully before uh, the clouds roll in, which they're supposed to do. So hopefully we get up there, get a sweet view. So we're about maybe a mile-ish down the Davis Path from Mount Crawford. And you can see uh, at least a little bit of water here. Um, it's listed in Gut Hook if you have the Gut Hook app, at least one before this is, or one after this. Um, but there are two supposed little water sources that are seasonal. But as of August, uh, second week of August, 2018, it is currently flowing. <laughs> so 
we're on our way up. We're heading up uh, to the top of Resolution. So a little steep, but overall good times. We're on the little southern ledge here. You get a beautiful view out here. I'll show you in a second, but pretty epic. Hoping uh, the view of tops equally as awesome. So we'll go, go take a look. We made it to the top of the wonderful Mount Resolution, full of fantastic, beautiful views. So, I'll give you a little look around, but wonderful, wonderful views to be had all around. You can see the storm and clouds and stuff when it's rolling through back that way, but at least you can still see right now. So, <laughs> it's looking very clear up in the wonderful residential range. So, we'll give you a view right now. So according to my basic knowledge of White Mountains Mountains, that right there is the Presidential Range. That guy there is Mount Webster, Mount Jackson, and we get Eisenhower, the one right up the top there, Monroe, then Mount Washington right there. I believe that guy right there, that big cliff looking area, is uh, Stairs Mountain. Then the uh, other side of the Presidential Range, you can't see too well but then you got over there that's where like Mount Tomfield and Willie are and then showed it earlier but down there is uh, Mount Crawford so maybe we'll hit that on the way back but you gonna enjoy the views up here it's awesome hike a pro tip if you're coming from the Boston area Take 93, exit three once you get over the border in New Hampshire, or right off the exit. Stop and grab yourself a donut for the, uh, the hike up, the Summit Eats. Also grab yourself some sort of bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant, bagel, or muffin, and enjoy it on the ride up. It's a free tip, enjoy. So we've been kicking it up here, the top of Resolution, enjoying our time again. We uh, we spend a lot of time up on the summits <laughs> when we do these uh, this little 52 with a view. I like it. I like to kick it up here, enjoy the views for a long time, chill, embrace the nature, so to speak. So we're going to be heading out here uh, shortly. So some options as far as spots to camp. There is a little camp area right down the intersection here, which um, apparently... Um, led to a shelter at some point. I guess the shelter's no longer there, but we're gonna pack up, make our way out of here, see what the day takes us. it back down to the intersection. I don't think I actually filmed it on the way up. So uh, right there, you can see the sign toward Mount Resolution, Davis Path. Um, it's two very close like intersections. So one trail is right there. The other one is right there. That one 
goes over to stairs. Uh, that guy goes up to resolution. And then, uh, right behind us, is uh, back down Davis Path to uh, Route 302, where we came from. And there is a pretty decent sized little camp spot up here, at least a minimum two tents, but uh, supposedly, the guy was telling us there was a shelter that was located off of here. At some point, they took it down, but apparently, I don't know, maybe it's a gray area as to whether or not you're supposed to camp there, but clearly, people do. So. So we made it to the campsite that is on the Davis Path. It's about a uh, 0.7 from the actual parking area, but very limited, like flat spots up here. It looked like there was a flat spot here, but someone decided to light a fire in there instead. And the, uh, the rest of the area is like just very slopey. So, <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what happens. <laughs> we sat down for a while, gave it some thought. 4.7 miles from the car. We're not staying here. We're getting the hell out of here. Very, very unideal campsite. Could make it work, but what's the point? We're 0.7 from the actual parking area, so we're getting the hell out of here. Can hear the cars driving down the, the little notch down there, so gonna work our way out. Unfortunately, no tent in this video, but I plan on filming a uh, initial impression video anyway, so I don't know if I want to ruin the surprise. Set it up eventually, look for a, uh, a video coming on that sooner or later. So, either way, we're out of here. So, we're back down to uh, civilization. Unfortunate, in all honesty, we should have stayed at the, um, the intersection up there where that other, like, random campsite was. It would have been so much better. There's water down there if you go down the stairs call. Uh, and plenty of space for two people. It was flat too. Yeah, so we should have should have done it But either way hindsight's 2020 we could have hit Crawford in the morning too, but whatever Now we get out and we get to go eat. It's not like the end of the world. So Anyways, that's gonna do it. Hope you liked the video. If you did awesome Consider dropping it a like helps out a lot uh, And if you love it, consider commenting subscribing you can follow me on Instagram at Chris goes outdoors if you care to Don't feel obligated social media is pretty lame and until next time We'll catch you in the next one.